Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Base Day 1 series on Alpha 20. So we just ended a really good horde night. I had a ton of fun. I got to replace a couple of ladders down here to fix the tracking. But we survived and we didn't really have too many repairs to do. We have one hole in the base, but that's easily fixed. I'm going to grab all of the stuff to take care of that now. Our next objective here today is get this room all nice and sorted and organized. So what I'm going to do is put... Oh, this is going to be so hard because I can put a layer out here, but I can't put anything along here. Which is okay because it allows me to run around the outside and look at stuff. So I'm thinking my storage should go on the outside here. And like even this corner, I could just put excess storage or something. I don't know. We'll keep it going, but it'll be nice and compact. And then we can throw all of our forges and all of our work machines along here and have the middle nice and clear. I think that'll be a great way to do that. So we should have some nails. I did make some earlier. I'm going to make up a whole bunch of storage boxes. We also need to make ourselves up a bunch of forges. So for the most part here, I've gotten the forge area ready. We can move this one forge over here into the corner uh, once I do empty it out uh, of all of its supplies. But it's our active forge at the moment, so we're going to keep this one going. And it also holds our crucible as well. Okay, so the one thing I have to make is some more anvils. We're going to need a ton more. Oh my god, look at this, guys. We got ourselves some company. <laughs> uh, they're kind of marching all over the place here. It's kind of interesting seeing their behavior. Look at them go. Just hiding out behind that wall over there. Well, you know what, guys? It's time for some action here. It's been kind of a rainy, stormy day. Good day to start doing this, but this is always welcome. Let's take a look here at our kills starting this episode. 2604. Not too bad at all. All right, come on down, guys. The water is warm. I forgot. Damn it. I forgot to do the repairs of all this stuff up there. <laughs> uh, of all the electronics. That's okay. I think we can handle this here at home. And not too bad. There we go. Look at that. Oh, there we go. There's some free XP right there, and we have ourselves a loot bag, too. Can I catch it again? It's tricky, but it's possible. There we go. Okay, we got some 9mm ammo and some basics out of that. I love that zombie loot. Now, we did have a cop explosion go off at the base of this build. This guy's taking forever to get up here. There you are, Mr. Slow-Mo. No wonder you sit in an office desk all day. It takes you forever to get anything done. Okay, I'm going to go outside and take a look at the, the bottom of this and see how much damage he did because it's not upgraded to concrete yet for science. Whoops. 
Yeah, he did a little bit of damage down here, but it's actually not too bad. He, he, the cobble seems to be a lot softer than the concrete itself, but I have to keep that in mind. They're, they're not as damaging as they used to be, it seems. Wow, yeah, I need to come out here and definitely do some repairs of the base here. The ramp. We need to get some steel going big time as well. So how we're going to work this with the forges here is each one will have its own separate task. I'm going to get these dropped in here, and this one here should have both of them. It does, okay. So this one here is going to be our stone ones. So this one's going to be constantly making stone product for us, so we could be making uh, some cement. And this one here is going to be our iron one, basically our metals, so we can make all of our... Um, all of our steel and iron needs in this one here. And this one, sand clay, we're going to call this one uh, maybe our glass one or the one we concentrate on for ammo and whatnot. And these two over here, we'll switch them back and forth, I think, into auxiliary ones and use them for iron and steel. Now, I'm not sure how much uh, activity we're going to generate with uh, five forges going like this, but we're going to uh, we're going to try it. We're going to do it for science, see if we get any screamers, and see how far we can push it. Because the generators do not provide uh, activity. I want to call it heat, but they call it an activity map. It doesn't provide to the activity map anymore. That sounds weird. We'll call it heat still. I still got a few things to move around here. Look at this. Look at our cooking and health bin. We got to push that all into these storage comp uh, components here. And I'm going to put a couple uh, or a row of storage up here for all of the auxiliary stuff. And then our workbench stuff will go on this side here once I get this all moved and situated. Well, the health and food has all been moved. We have our nice prepared food up here, our fancy stuff, all of our bandages, kits, pills, and the whatnot up in that one there. We got some extra boxes here. I'm sure we'll use them up as the row goes down. This is my bacon and egg cabinet. This is my can of food cabinet. This one here stores our water and stuff. We'll probably actually have to expand that up to another box here at some point. This one here too. This one's like all my seeds and all my veggies and whatnot, which will uh, most likely be expanded up there as well. So that leaves us with this side over here. I got to move this workbench. Uh, it doesn't need a repair though. What do we need to repair that? Okay, that's okay. Then we can move it back one block and then put our component boxes and whatnot up here too. Well, we only have one last thing to move here, and that is our cement mixer and that forge once we get that thing emptied out. But it is looking absolutely fantastic in here, guys. Let's check this out. So all of our storage is mostly up top here. Fingers crossed it doesn't get destroyed. And behind our forges, of course, we have all of our raw materials stuff, which I think is nicely organized. Our kitchen is over here. Not much of a kitchen, but it is something with uh, still some extra storage. All of our weapons, tools, mods, all of that stuff will be on this side over here. And uh, I'll probably make another... Oh, a chemistry station for right here would look really nice. And then on this side... 
we could put in a bunch of cement mixers because getting engines is really no big deal anymore in Alpha 20, apparently. So there we go. One there, and we'll have to create some more. But we are ready to start mass producing here very, very soon, guys. So can I make an anvil? Nope, I'm out of iron, but we do have a ton of stone, so I'm going to burn the stone out of here. The clay uh, I really don't care about, and we'll get this last forge moved. Uh, but in the meantime, I have some spare time here, guys, and we are really, really low on supplies. So I got to head over to our iron deposit and start digging some more of that out. Oh no, look at this. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my storage I completely forgot about. I'm going to grab some of this up, return it up to the base, and actually grab my trader coin too because we can go and visit. Uh, is it reset day? Oh no, it's not reset day. Never mind. We're good. There we go. So I've used up one black strap coffee and in that time we've gotten 12,000, just over 12,000 iron here. So I think that's good enough for now. That's a couple stacks that'll get our forges going. We do have some experience points or some points to spend here. Some skill points I meant to say. So let's go ahead. Put one point into Avionics Wizard here for Grease Monkey, and now, guys, we can fly. So we're going to go head home. We're going to make our motorbike, and we're going to make our, um, <laughs> holy crap, gyrocopter. I'm so excited. I couldn't remember what the heck I was making. Anyway, these two will be awesome, and then that way we can head off into the desert and other areas very, very quickly and get some more quests done at higher level areas and get way better loot and advance ourselves way quicker because we really need to get on getting an auger. I would love to pop in here for about five minutes, whip out as much iron as possible, get out of here so we don't have to deal with screamers, right? Eventually, too, I will dig out far enough that I can find a nice iron vein, and if we get a few screamers on the surface that start to dig down, that's not uh, too big of a deal because we won't be there very long. Okay, awesome. Let's head back home and get this done. Say goodbye to this stupid mini bike, wherever it went. All right, this forge here is done, so we're going to take the advanced bellows and everything out of it. The uh, clay is no longer needed, so I'm going to move this over beside the other forges. It is time to get our forges going here. So this one is going to be our iron forge. I'm going to go and split some fire up in there. We're going to put this at, I don't know, half an hour, I think. Seems more than good enough. There we go. Nothing's in it, so I can't even make anything yet. And our stone one here, we're going to get this one going too. I don't think we have very much stone at the moment. We don't, but we'll throw what we do have extra up in here and uh, at least get this going. Awesome place is looking good. So we got two forges here going full time. We're going to start testing the screamer thing here, see how much we can and get away with so in the meantime we need to start making that motorcycle and the gyrocopter this is so very exciting So we need to make ourselves a couple of wheels here. I got everything else on the way other than the wheels. And for that, we're going to need bottles of acid. And we have two of those saved up, which will give us enough to make the motorcycle, uh, but not enough to make the gyrocopter. Let's take a look here. We need three wheels 
for that gyrocopter. So that's going to be a little more complicated than I thought. Totally forgot about the whole acid thing. So we're going to have to take a look at the traders too and see if they have any. So for now, we're just going to make the the motorcycle. That'll at least get us back and forth quick and keep our, 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 our eye out for wheels or more bottles of acid. I forgot about Horde Knight that I stashed a whole bunch of stuff in here. I thought there was some stuff missing. I thought that we had some Duke's Casino tokens. I was like, hey, wait, didn't I get a wrench that was level 6 as well? Look at all this stuff I have going on in here. I gotta get this all organized, uh, but we're gonna get that motorcycle together once I got this done. I'm gonna get myself full of food, and we're gonna go for a trip, guys. We're gonna get away from home here for a little bit and go and see where that opening trade routes is. It'd be nice to go for a, a, a trip into a place we haven't gone yet. I'll also have to bring some cooling stuff with me too, some cooling clothes so I don't overheat. Okay, there we go. So, everything is ready here. Let's go ahead and grab my motorcycle. There we go. Beautiful. And it is good to go. I'm going to put that on the ground in here because, I mean, what other bachelor pad doesn't look complete without a motorcycle on the ground? Wow, this thing. Look, it has color on it now. Can we change the color of this thing? Maybe if we pick it back up, here we go, and press R, here we are. Oh, maybe not, maybe this is something we have to paint. I'll have to take a look into that, or uh, we have to dye, but I, I do like the look of it. It's pretty damn nice. I always park my bikes inside my pad when I'm a bachelor. I haven't done that in a while now, been in a relationship for a few years, but I think it looks beautiful. There we go. Look at that. My motorcycle just sitting on the ground. Okay, so I'm going to get this thing put down here. We're going to get it filled up. I got to get my mini bike storage and everything else figured out. And we're going to head off to the desert, guys, and see about this opening trade routes up here. Exciting stuff. Well, here we go, guys. So it's actually been a, about a day. Ooh, I got to grab our gasoline out of our mini bike here. It's been about a day since the last cut. Unfortunately, I had to stop my recording and do something else that day. But that is okay. We are back at it. So we are good to go. I have everything in my inventory we need. I got to take this road here and head out straight towards the opening trade routes quest. And I almost forgot about the view vehicle fuel saver mod I had in there. Well, here we are, folks. That did not take too long whatsoever on our motorcycle. That was actually uh, rather quick looking around here for more birds. Those things can come us at us like crazy here. And oh, look at this. We got ourselves some bacon here. Holy crap. Shotgun wasn't loaded. That wasn't very fair. Let's grab this thing's meat. Oh, no, guys. I went for a little bit of a drive here. And I forgot all my trader stuff. Ooh, that was weird. Did you guys see some stuff in the inventory uh, just disappear? Uh, I think that was actually from what was in the mini bike. But yeah, I forgot all my damn trader coin here. That's okay. You know what? We could pop out a couple tier ones, I think, really quickly. Uh, let's take a look, too, at the desert and see how high... Oh, we have an abrasion already. Uh, we can use our first aid bandage. We'll, we'll use that to get rid of it. But our loot stage is now 88. So that's better than we had back in the forest. And uh, pretty decent, I think, for a tier one. So here we go. We got another a Trader Joel going on, so let's go and uh, do some Tier 1 stuff. Uh, we do have some Tier 1 Buried Supplies. Those are really quick to pop out. Or we have some material. Oh, you know what? We're going to do some Clear Zombies House. We have a um, one that's only 100 feet away. It's literally next door. We can pop this out real quick. As it turns out, it actually wasn't right next door. It was one more house over, but that's okay. We got ourselves a Gears here. Let's go ahead and start that quest. We got a couple incoming zombies, but I think we can handle this here. Uh, now, usually there's a dog going on in here. 
right in the corner. Do we have one this time? Let me get out that shotgun. No, we have a dude sitting there though. Apparently not see me whatsoever. And that is a okay. Okay, what's what's going on over here? We have a thug. These guys here, pretty tough, but they don't give you any extra XP. I wonder why they did that as a balance. Oh guys, look at this. So we got two tire, two wheels out of this place and one bottle of acid. And I think that's all the wheels we need in order to make a gyrocopter, which is pretty damn exciting. Sounds like we have a coyote or a dog outside of this place. So uh, we have to get our way out here. Ugh, such a pain in the butt. I am so overburdened. Thank God we're next to the trader. So I can sell some stuff off to the trader here and then get the heck uh, back home. Maybe uh, grab some acid or maybe a tire from the trader if they have some, if we have enough coin. But I was all, I was all upset about that. Turns out it doesn't even matter anyway. friend whatever you need oh look at this so we have 109 millimeter ammo structural brace mod gas can recipe or an armor pocket mod we're, we're gonna grab 100 of that ammo up here and now we have 880 whopping coins so let's just take a look i know that we have enough wheels okay he doesn't have wheels uh he doesn't have acid here let's take a look at his secret stash and see if there's anything good uh restock day is day 31 oh it's it's tonight i do believe once it flips over to day 31 we will lose what's in our secret stash damn so it doesn't look like there's anything too crazy in here. The antibiotics recipe would be nice, but we don't have enough uh, to actually buy that. Double barrel shotgun, level two. Yeah, not really missing too much here, but the exciting news is, guys, we have enough to do uh, the the gyrocopter. Now it's 20 hundred. You know what? Let's go ahead. Uh, grab another level one job from this guy here. Clear zombies 232 meters away, nice and easy. Let's see if we can rip through this one too and get back to Trader Joel to hand this one in before uh, nighttime. Do a quick, quick run. Okay, and here we go. And of course, there is some bacon right there. Let's go ahead and get this quest started and try to get this place cleared out here uh, before the trader closes. This is going to be uh, quite hard, I do believe. Uh, we're not going to really be doing too much looting unless it's the good loot at the, the end here. So, you know what? I'm going to save this waypoint just in case. We'll save it as as good as. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's flex and bust into this place here.
must be my lucky. Oh, we have wow, even the mods are actually pretty good. We got a weighted head mod, serrated samurai secret recipe. Huh, you know what? We'll grab that. Why not? I'll probably be able to find that, but whatever. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Trader Joel's is closing very, very soon. And I still need to hit up this uh, vending machine here. Oh, wow, there's like nothing in here. Oh, well, let's grab it up. And we gotta head home, guys. We can make our gyrocopter now. Holy crap, the progress in this episode has been insane. I finally got all that dirty, dirty organized now the way i hate doing that stuff so that is good and we made it to trader joel's made our motorcycle and our gyrocopter this is crazy We officially got our own gyrocopter, guys. Feels really, really good. And I think I got it this time around a lot quicker than I did in Alpha 19. And if everyone remembers our nose, uh, let me know down in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. And apparently my Mario skills suck because I couldn't jump across this simple opening here. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to get my butt down there. Let's get this gyrocopter placed and let's take off. We're going to go and give our traders here a visit. I'm going to go tra uh, visit Trader Jen first. Then we'll go trade uh, visit Trader Wrecked. And then we'll fly all the way back over into the desert and uh, check out our new Trader Joel over there. And up away! Holy crap, I hit a dog and then a pole. What a take off here for my first time around. But fortunately, our gyrocopter works going completely straight up in the air. I'm going to be a little rusty at this, but I think I got it. Oh, look at the view of the town over there. The view is very, very nice. I haven't even explored this town over here, guys. There is so much to look at. Look at the size of this one. We got a big old factory over there way off in the distance. There has to be at least a skyscraper or two, I think, in this town as well. Uh, but our trader is right there. It's not very far of a journey at all. It feels slow in the air, but it's much, much faster than it actually feels. Oh, no, we're coming in for a landing here. Oh, do we have to pull up a little bit? No, we're good. We're good. Look at that. 
And then put our nose down a little bit here and boom. So if you guys really don't know how to uh, interact with the gyrocopter and make it fly, I do have a video I put out a couple of alpha goes, uh, alpha goes, alphas ago, but it still definitely does apply. If you want to check that out, go to my history or search my name and uh, how to fly gyrocopter. I know a lot of people might laugh at that, but uh, when I was new to the game, I had no idea what was going on. Trader Jen, what is up? Let's go ahead and sell some stuff to you. There we go, and we're back up to 12,289 Duke's Casino tokens. Let's take a look here at our secret stash. Ooh, a rocket launcher will be nice, but I have a feeling we're gonna be finding those here uh, sooner than later. We have an engine in here. Those aren't hard to find, so I'm definitely not going to be buying that from the trader. And no, ugh, no auger yet. We did find a really low level auger, but it really wasn't uh, worth our time. All right, and we are out. Thank you very much, Trader Jen. We will see you again. All right, off to Trader Rex we go. What do you have for us here at Trader Rec? Hmm, he does have an auto shotgun and we're almost able to afford that, but we're, we're gonna not buy that quite yet. I really want to, it's tempting, but uh, I can't do that. We have one more trader here to check out. Okay, yeah, he has got nothing for us. We did grab a couple eggs from him though, because eggs are literally the uh, most valuable thing in the apocalypse. I really like that bacon and eggs, by the way, guys. I really do enjoy bacon. I bought a five pound box of it recently. Just so I know, we'd have some bacon here with all the shortages going on. Uh, I couldn't live without it. Okay, so I gotta mark this, mark, mark this other uh, trader on the map here. Oh no. I forget where it was. I think it was about there. We'll find it again. And to the desert we go. Oh, hey, look at this guys. Look at this, we have an airdrop. And it is in the desert biome. So I wonder if this is going to be any better than the ones we've been getting in the, the forest here. Let's take a look at my loot stage. Uh, it's 83. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh Looks like we got a bird friend here. Th those are okay, though. They do give us... Uh, they, they do give us lots of bones, so I don't mind... Uh, when they come out, I'm getting a little better at knocking these guys out. They're not too hard. But we got a ranged mods bundle, 0-2, and a couple of health kits out of that deal. What do we get? Oh, reflex sight, burst mod, and the retracting sto uh, stock. That is sick. Uh, just that sight mod. I, I love that thing. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, our AK. Whoops, that's not our AK. Oh, look at that. We officially have... A sight on it now. That is pretty damn sick. And coming in for landing. Oh, almost nice and smooth and perfect, like a frisbee. I'm jumping back up in the air, but uh, let's bring that down. Good enough. Okay, Trader Joel. Let's see if you have the coveted auger that we need. Okay, Trader Joel, let's go ahead and see his inventory. I'm going to go right to his secret stash here because this is where all the good stuff is. Uh, we got a scope schematic. Not going to use that. Needle and thread. Don't care about that either. And, wow, lots of engines showing up now for some reason. Uh, we have a couple more books. It looks like they're really putting out on the books this time around. And we have another SMG auto turret. So, yeah, it doesn't look like we have one. Uh, quite yet. Now we do have 19 handgun parts back home, so I think we have more than enough at this point to build the auto turrets that we need. So uh, we're not going to buy that up. Okay, so no such luck here. That's okay though, because we can continue on and start pounding out some uh, quest here, Trader Joel, because he's in the desert and the loot's just going to be better out this way. And this is where I want to be coming to. Now that we have a gyrocopter and everything that we need, what progress this episode, guys? It's been actually two and a half hours of gameplay to bring you this one episode. So it's been uh, quite a bit. And that's why, like I said, it's uh, it's taken a couple days now to get episodes out. For me, I'm really enjoying it, guys. The editing challenge is fun. Um, I like sitting down and doing it uh, much more than I used to before. Before, it kind of felt like a 
obligatory, the editing part, but now that I'm doing interesting things, learning stuff, adding stuff in, it's really challenging me in a way that's uh, bringing back the, the game for me. So like I said, guys, if you uh, do enjoy, please do show me your appreciation by using the like button. Uh, if you'd like to support further, of course, there is a top in comments. You can find all my links there. Stay classy, everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.